there's quite a good chance that if you've been on the internet for long enough, then you've probably seen a video on YouTube that has included the statement, this video has been sponsored by Squarespace. This video is not sponsored by Squarespace. It isn't sponsored. Now, there are other services. However, probably one of the most common ones that I see is Squarespace, at least in this field, because what I'm referring to are website services that pretty much allow you to make websites, which seem interesting, except for the fact that there was a time period in the late 90s and early 2000s in which you could do this all on your desktop and this was provided by Microsoft. Now of course you can always make a website from your desktop and the comfort it provides, I'd hope, because of HTML, CSS, you know. However, I'm particularly looking at an application called Microsoft Front Page. As its name suggests, it was made by Microsoft. It wasn't actually originally made by Microsoft though, it was made by a company that was acquired by Microsoft in circa 1996. I'll have to go check that later because it's close to midnight that I'm recording this audio. And I wanna generally take a look at an example of it. But before that, I wanna get into a little bit of history from some small stuff, cause there isn't really much to talk about with this program. So as I mentioned, this program was made by a separate company that got acquired by Microsoft in circa 1996. However, before version 2.0, the program was acquired by Microsoft. Microsoft Front Page 98 was particularly kind of notable, and we're not taking a look at Microsoft Front Page 98 because Michael MJD made a video involving the use of it, and you know, in 2000, with the release of Microsoft Office 2000, Front Page was pretty much integrated into Microsoft Office. However, it didn't stay this way for much longer, as by 2003's Microsoft Office 2003, it was given the status similar to like Microsoft Project. It's branded as a Microsoft Office application, but it's not actually bundled with Office. And with Microsoft Office 2007, Front Page was no more. Wait a minute, then why do I see these icons thingies on the internet showing a Microsoft Front Page 2007 icon? That's the Microsoft Accounting 2007 icon, let's not get into that can of worms. Anyway, we're gonna be looking at Microsoft Front Page 2000, a prime example of this application, if I say so myself. So as you can see here, we've got the about window and well, yeah, it plays the Windows 95 startup sound, but that's attributed to the fact that, well, I'm using Windows 2000, which has the Microsoft sound, which is the Windows 95 startup sound. So, but on to some more serious business. What theme do we choose? Well, we've got a plethora of themes here and well, I'll let you look at these for a couple seconds. Um, And honestly, I think my favorite of these is the Glacier theme, so we're gonna use it. We have a variety of different formatting options. As well as some toolbars, which we can customize. Anyways, I think I'm going to jump cut to when I've got some basic foundation going. Well, it's a start, so now I want to go add a picture to this web page. Except in order to insert a picture, I have to add the picture of choice to the images folder in the website folder. Which is one of the easiest things I could really bring up in a video. Just copy and paste. What isn't so easy is adjusting my humongous 1280 by 1024 screenshot for 
a more appropriate website size. Yeah, um, it says right there on the monitor that it's 12 by 10 by 4. What? That? Also, this seems kind of square-like. I'm not sure if... I probably did something wrong here, but honestly, for the time that I had to work on this, I think it's good enough. And then comes the part where I double-clicked on a picture, and then it did this. Which was very fun, because it took quite a bit of time to load this program. Yay, great job, me! And from there, it was smooth sailing. I was able to align this and position it just fine. Which is impressive for the time, however, alignment isn't too hard in HTML and CSS. Because there's a dedicated function for it. So, it's not like trying to do it fairly simply in Microsoft Word. However, I'm going to jump cut again to once I've got some good enough website completed for a basic demonstration. Putting this in Netscape Navigator 6.2 shows that it's not looking that bad, which is nice especially given Microsoft's general stance on competing products at this time. Uh, especially Opera. I don't know why they discriminated against Opera users at this time period, or around this time period. Now, not to see if this search thingy worked, but nope, because we do not have a server. This is offline. Of course it's offline because it's Windows 2000. Why would I put Windows 2000 online? That's a good question. It's not a good idea. But we can generally see hyperlinks and navigation. I know I get sayings like this often mixed up, but at this rate, it's like so late at night that I don't really care. There's also tasks, which is based, um, I mean, reports, which is a checklist of all the things on the website. Part of my mistake if you're watching the uncut version of the audio folders, which is basically a file management of the website. And that's generally going to be about it. Also, it seems that this looks best when maximized, because when it's not maximized, the website gets totally slaughtered. I'm not gonna really pin the blame on anything here because, you know. So, well, what else do I really say? I guess I might as well shut this down for probably the next month, because, well, it's not gonna be too much longer before this thing gets its next use. Just a little bit of foreshadowing.